Right, so we're at my home gym. This is uh, a YouTube video which I've not done in a while. Um, probably got no subscribers left at this point, but you know, we're here. So I'm here with Axel Brown. What a cool name to begin with. Everyone wants to be called like Axel, yeah, don't they? <laughs> not bad. Um, yeah, introduce yourself. Yeah, as you said, Axel Brown. So I, I'm an Olympian. I'm, I compete in the sport of bobsleigh for Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, I competed in the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics in bobsleigh. Um, we came 28th. Mission just don't come last, so mission succeeded. Um, and yeah, so I do a bit of kind of CrossFit training style stuff. My coach is a CrossFit coach, and so do a bunch of functional fitness stuff and got working with Bulldog Gear, which is how we met. So we're both uh, Bulldog Associated athletes. Um, I saw on one of his uh, Instagram posts, and I was like, hang on, I know that driveway. <laughs> Turns out he lives two doors down from my brother, so that's kind of that's how we got. <laughs> exactly, that's how we got introduced. Yeah, so obviously being in it, sort of doing the CrossFit myself, and not doing bobsleigh. It's appropriate we do a CrossFit workout today, yeah. and then we're gonna, sort of later in, in the video, kind of jump into Q and A. I've got loads of questions and then we'll kind of do a, a switch and I'll attempt some bobsleigh style training yeah, that's the plan. Uh, over at Axel's gym. So yeah, we'll, I've, I've found a workout we're going to do today and uh, let's get into it. Yeah, we'll do 20 minutes, it's whatever you fancy the 1k row, you just, you just pick your moment and go. <laughs> we, this is the problem, like I'm geared for six seconds. I can <laughs> beast anything for six <laughs> seconds. Once you talk about like, yeah, eight minutes or whatever, I, I don't even have a gauge for how long it should take. Once you talk about like that, that kind of thing, yeah. I'm blowing after a minute. So. Yeah. <laughs> when you, when I you say high numbers, I can't sustain. When you said you, you, you're good for six seconds, I've said that's a lot of girls. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, that's, that's, that, that's the way I'm going to tell them. Yes. So we found out I can't do the overhead <laughs> stuff we had planned in here, so we've had to kind of flex it a little bit and go with front squat instead of overhead squat. So. Tall are way oh, 100%. So, okay, so let's go back to we might have covered this, but prior to Olympics, I played American football in the US for a college, right? Okay. So, the way their system works is you go through the school system, and then one level below the NFL is, is college right. division one, and then you've got division two, three, and, and double A, and that kind of thing. So, I was division one, and that's how I went to uni. Um, okay. but I only found that through playing American football in the UK. I played one year, made the national team, and then it was like, oh, okay, well, if I want to get any better, I'm going to have to go to the US. And so I sought that out. I wasn't yeah, really yeah. getting anywhere that I wanted to be in the UK. And so I was like, okay, well, I, I like this sport. I like the US. I'll just apply to a bunch of unis, fully expecting, similar to when I finally got into bobsleigh, fully expecting to just be like laughed out the door. Yeah, like, no, 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 no. When you were in America, what did you think bobsleigh or was that way, way after so you came back to the UK? I'd actually been recruited through a thing called, um, it was Power to Podium and Sporting Giants were these two things built around the 2012 Olympics yep. that were to recruit athletes in the UK that might be good at elite sport. So yep. their thing with Sporting Giants was anybody that's tall and has competed at a regional level or above, and then power to podium was people that were displaying ability. So I tried as a under 18 for the British, for the bobsleigh team then I was told rowing or bobsleigh, you'd be great at either. Um, and I'm very glad I chose bobsleigh because rowing is hard work, man. So I'd actually tried out as an under 18, but I ended up in this limbo of being too old for the Youth Olympics and not nearly good enough as an adult. So I was, sure. I, it was on my radar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go away four years playing American football, blah, 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 come back 
tr having trained and being much more of an athlete because previously as an under 18 I hadn't even set, set foot in a gym literally yeah, hadn't yeah. set foot in a gym and I got so far so then add to that some s and and I was in the ballpark so you're at the front regardless yeah and you're you hold onto the arm? Yep, so I have the, a kind of an arm that sticks out the side of it, and then we have one guy that's on the back. Yep. Anybody that's pushing is known as a brakeman. That's just the, the kind of phrase for it. Cool. Uh, cool. Then in a four-man, you add two more guys on the side, and then they jump in. They jump in, the side. and then the, the guy at the back's last in. Yeah. You're first in, and then you're steering. Correct. How much do you steer? Because sure. when you watch it, you just think, well, it's, can, yeah, oh, can no, you steer yeah, that? Absolutely. Like, so, and it's it's a perfectly reasonable thing to say. Yeah. So, the corner is turning us left to right or right to left. Yep. You, you know, you're not going to just suddenly turn left in a right hand yeah. corner. You yeah, can't. Yeah, yeah. So, our steering, we're actually steering up and down. Great. So, if you're coming at a steep corner, it's just going to shoot you into the roof, and you yep. just go straight up. You hit the top top of the corner, and then you barrel back down. So, what we're doing is, as you're coming onto the corner, you're catching the steering to steer. Down. Got you. So it's and preventing then, going too high. Exactly. So you're riding it round. Yeah, exactly. And then you're doing the same thing to come yeah. off the corner. Again, the centripetal force wants to push you up. Yeah. So you're kind of coaxing it down and into down. the straight or into the next corner or whatever it is. What age were you when you went into Team GB Bobsleigh for the first time? Yeah, so I tried out age 23. 23. Yeah, so that's when I kind of first, first got into the British team. Um, and then... Yeah, just kind of works up. So everything in our sport works in four-year cycles. So that first four-year cycle, I was a brakeman trying to get into the top teams yep. so that I could qualify for the game. But, but truth be told, when I got released by that American football team, it did feel like that's it. I'm, I'm done, you know. Yeah. Like I'm aged 22, going into my 23rd year, of like, and I don't have a sport. I've just been cut from what I thought was my sport. Yep. Probably that's the end. And it was a case of, I want to have a go in a bobsleigh someday. Maybe I'll just do it this way instead of paying yeah. and going as a tourist maybe I can get myself in a sled I yeah. did I fully didn't expect it to lead anywhere really other than maybe I'll have a go maybe I'm good enough to kind of scrape by I'm going to be rooting for Trinidad and Tobago so much yeah. I think, gonna there's, I think there's a lot of people thankfully now that um, are rooting for us and yeah. people might say well why are you rooting for them and they say oh well you know this guy that grew up in Harrogate and stuff that's from the UK that has a Trini mum is competing for them and, and bridging that <laughs> gap we know TNT's behind us but now we've got a huge sway the, the British fans behind us as well, as well and that's pretty and pretty it's cool. more the fact that you've kind of done it off your own back and yeah. you're the front of the team you're the, the fate representing and yeah it's, it's, it. weird, it's weird to say because I, I you know I don't like kind of boasting or whatever but yeah. I think to, to have done it the right way and to have done it treating people right treating people you know well and, yeah. and make that and, and blaze that path but in the right way yeah. means everything it uh, means as much as the accomplishment itself to have done it the way that we did it and that shows in that every sponsor we've worked with every fan that we've had interactions with comes away thinking that was awesome yeah. rather than that was a bit weird yeah. nuts I mean I'm I'm just inspired Here, kind of like hearing you've gone from nowhere near to your Olympic goal age 21 22 having got there in eight years so yeah, yeah I'm happy I'm happy just doing low level comps enjoying enjoying myself and I think, having it, fun I think on weekends. a good message and, perhaps to end on is that difficult is relative right you know what I've done has been really hard it's been really hard but to some people just getting up in the morning is really hard inspired let's done. go what a video <laughs> So I've got, I've no idea how long this video is going to be, how much of those questions are going to be in it. We'll, I'm sure we'll try and put it together so that it makes sense. Um, and yeah, look, for, look, looking forward to part two. Um, I'll be attempting some bobsleigh style training and then who knows, yeah. potentially a bobsleigh. Who, who knows? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm up for it, but I'm, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. If I, if I need anyone, I'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to put a bit of size on first. <laughs> you, can put, you can get your weights vest yeah, over there. Yeah, I'll get weights vest. I'll be there, yeah. <laughs> right, great stuff. Um, actually, I'll put your all your socials in the bio Sounds and good. I'll be following your journey now to the Winter Olympics. Sounds good. So, yeah, look forward to it. Appreciate it. Cheers, man. Nice one.